everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. Today I'm going to talk about how to celebrate Yule in the broom closet. So at Soen or Samhain we honour the descent into darkness but at the winter solstice we reach the peak of this darkness and with that the longest night of the year. With the end of the longest night the dark is defeated with the return of the sun and in turn the return of light, hope, promise and all that good stuff. Wiccans believe that the goddess gives birth to the sun god and that the holly king surrenders to the oak king. In doing so, the sun begins to wax and the days grow longer. In other words, it's the sun's birthday and that is truly a time to celebrate. Many customs created around Yule are identified with Christmas today. If you decorate your home with a Yule tree or holly or candles, you are following some of those old traditions set out by pagans. For these reasons, Yule is probably one of the easiest sabbats to celebrate in the broom closet, since Christmas is simply just a Christianized version of Yule. They both celebrate the return of love, hope and light, and you can make a direct comparison with Jesus and the pagan sun god. If you think about it, Jesus is God, he's the light of the world, and at Christmas we celebrate his birth. Pagans also celebrate the birth of the sun god. So actually many of the intentions are much the same between Christmas and Yule, so often you can celebrate your normal Christmas traditions with friends and family and you only need to switch up a few things like your intentions and the words that you use. So let's discuss some of these ways to celebrate Yule in the broom closet. As usual with my videos I'm going to start off with more subtle and secretive ways that you can celebrate and then I will move on to more overt and open ways that not everyone can do but some of you might want to do if you can. The first suggestion I have, which actually isn't my suggestion, it was suggested by a good friend of mine. I'll link the video where I got the idea. But this idea is to basically change your language. Even if it's just in your head, make a conscious effort to switch out the word Christmas with Yule. So just as an example, refer to the Christmas tree as the Yule tree. Out loud, to friends and family, just call it the tree. If you do have to refer it as the Christmas tree, then just repeat silently in your head the Yule tree. The second suggestion I have is to put up a Yule tree. Of course, to friends and family you'll be calling this a Christmas tree, but this was actually originally a pagan tradition. Evergreen trees were sacred to the pagans as they represent the everlasting life of the divinity. You can even decorate this tree with homemade witch balls, and of course you can call these ball balls in front of friends and family. The next suggestion I have for you is to listen to Yule music. So everywhere we go we always hear Christmas music in the shops or on the radio or just everywhere. So it's really nice to sometimes just take some time out of your day to listen to some Yule music and especially music that isn't like Christ oriented or overly Christian. You can just keep this practice to yourself. You can just listen with headphones if you are not comfortable playing this music out loud. I will link some pagan Yule playlists in the description for you, so make sure you check those out. The next suggestion I have for you is to set intentions. Now this can be with a spell. But if a spell is too overt and open for your practices, then just set intentions in other ways. The intentions of Yule that you should be setting are things like peace, love, harmony and happiness. Cooking and baking is a really good thing to try at Yule. Yule is very food oriented, 
so you can try baking things like cookies and cakes soaked in cider, fruits, nuts, pork dishes, turkey, eggnog, ginger tea and spiced cider. You can even try baking a yule log. Originally the yule log was burned in the fire to symbolise the newborn sun or the sun god. I will also link some traditional yule recipes in the description below for you so make sure you check those out and give them a go this year. The next suggestion I have is to kiss under mistletoe. This was originally a pagan tradition. Mistletoe was greatly revered by the druids as the healer and protector. Its magical properties are believed to originate from the fact that it lives between the worlds, between the sky and the earth as it grows high up in the trees. So decorate with some mistletoe and maybe steal a kiss under it this year. you can try decorating your house with holly. If this is already a tradition that you normally do, then this is great, and the holly's bristles are believed to repel unwanted spirits. You could make or purchase a wreath. I know this is a popular one in my family. Again, this is another tradition with pagan roots. It's traditional to make wreaths from evergreen, as again, this represents the divinity's ever presence and everlasting life. If it's typical for you to light candles around the house at this time of year, definitely go for it. Yule is a festival of light after all, and you want to encourage the solar energy to enter your home. It's best to light white, green and red candles, but just white candles is fine of course. Finally, if you can, try decorating your altar. Use things like holly, pine cones, mistletoe, and evergreen leaves. Use the colours red, green, gold, white, silver, yellow, and orange. That's all I have for you this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need more information on anything in the broom closet, just visit the subreddit r slash broom closet witch on reddit there's also a link to a discord server on there that you can join and talk to other witches just like yourself like this video if you enjoyed it and it was helpful please stay safe and blessed be